This is a simulation of Jim Boudreaux's Blood Lever and Barrier Protection System. The film, if you're watching, was taken off of Gulf Shores, Alabama. It's right along the coastline and it's setting along the beach. And in this illustration, you can see clearly how it's being built up from the back of the box. And when the surges come in, the boxes stop the surge and the sediment will swing around it or possibly over it or trapped in the back. And as you can see, over time, it will gradually build up. And that's what I recommend this also as land restoration. And when a surge is going to be coming in shortly, you're going to see how my box is going to stop it. And that's what this thing is made of, to stop storm surges, retrieve the sediment, and it doesn't move. And that was a clear indication there. These boxes are built to scale. They're 10 inches high, and 20 feet long, and 10 inches wide, with the equivalent of 20 foot wide, 10 foot across, and 10 foot high. These are actual working models that to demonstrate the different uses of these boxes. And as you can see clearly, I'm going to zoom in a little bit behind the boxes, and you can see clearly how it's starting to build up. And you see that little water that's trickling in the middle? That's what they call the liquefied zone. And up until now, there's nothing that been invented to contain that and stop it and to prevent it. And you're looking at it right now, it's being corrected. First, it's being slowed down. And I repeat, there's nothing in these boxes. Nothing, no concrete uh, walls. The boxes are just set down and the pilings are driven down. They're stabilized by these pilings. And as you can see, the surge is coming in. The boxes stop that surge where it hits the box. And I'll give you some more updates as we go along. Now you can see how the sediments are being contained within the box. And over time, they'll gradually fill up. It's not being washed back out to sea. That was a surge. It stopped it. And you see how it in interacts on the inside? It entraps whatever sediment that's in there. And if you notice on the right hand side, one of the boxes are adjusting already. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You see that offset right there? That means one of the boxes are adjusting at the bottom and it's gradually sinking down. It's adjusting. See it right there? But they were even, the two angle lines. This is the only invention that can do that. This is a side view of showing how it actually interacts with the storm surge. It comes in, it goes all the way around, as you can see. And it's building up on the inside. And the waves are not even hurting it.
here we are approximately 15 minutes, 20 minutes later. And as you can clearly see, how the sand is building up behind the boxes. Just like land restoration in the making. This is no storm surge. It's no hurricane. Regular everyday action, but does about 80% of the damage. And here is correcting it. Now here is approximately an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. And you can see clearly how it built up in the back. It corrected the liquefied zone that was in between the two boxes. The excess is being washed out on the side. This is uh, using land restoration techniques. It's being protected by continuous storm surge. Now, as you know, a storm surge only hits you one time. But over here, every five minutes, you have a storm surge. And it's not budging these boxes. So this answers your question. And a picture's worth a thousand words. And I'll be continuing to monitor it. I've said these boxes can uh, slow down the liquefied zone and eventually correct it and stop it permanently. What you're witnessing is in the act. In between these two boxes, they had the liquefied zone. And through the nature's moving through its natural process and the boxes retaining the sediment, it corrected the liquefied zone and it stopped it dead in its tracks. And this is the living proof of it. Undeniable. Now here, in the very front, it was perfectly level. And as you can see, through the wave action of nature, how it's starting to build up, even in the front. The little liquefied zone that's in between the boxes is coming in smaller and smaller. It's forming like a little crevice in the front of the box. But the sand itself is building even in the front. So this is a proof of that you're working with nature. Now on the inside, I left the box open so you can see how the sand is building up until the opening hole and naturally it's going to wash out. But on the inside, the part that's going to wash out is the over excess that's on, that's on top of these little holes that's on the inside. Below the hole, it stays there. And you got this tremendous protection. These boxes are not sinking. It's stabilized by these piling. And it's working with nature. And the reason why I can prove to you and it's not sinking. This is the angle line that was installed over three hours ago. And as you can see, it only went down approximately a half inch, would be a half a foot. And it's withstanding constant pounding of continuous surf action. So the surge is only one time. But here, every five minutes, you're having a surge. And it's not moving whatsoever, and it stops it dead in its tracks. 